Senator Kempson to recognise. Senator, do you have a purpose? Personal interest. Thank Personal you. Please, interest. please Thank give you. the Senator to your attention. Thank you, Mr. President. As many of you know, I have been at the well numerous times to discuss what, in my view, is the biggest public health crisis facing our state, and that is deaths due to gun violence. As the state newspaper, one of the larger newspapers in this state, has pointed out, it has become so normal. 39 South Carolina kids killed in this state last year. This morning, the Post and Courier, one of the larger newspapers in the state, published a poll. And the poll surveyed Democrats and Republicans. And it found that over 80% of Republicans favor an expanded background check beyond three days. The same poll found that Democrats, more than 83%, favor allowing a little more time for people to get checked out. Now, it's important to note that 90% of people who purchase guns and fill out the application are approved or denied within the first two minutes. I'm going to repeat that statistic. 90% of the people who go in and buy a gun, fill out an application, are rejected or approved within the first two minutes. So now, we're only talking about less than 10% of the people in the state that would be subject to an extended background check period. So this morning, after much debate at this well by myself and the senator from Lancaster, I purportedly got a hearing on 154. And the reason why I say that is First of all, the committee was changed. I was not in town. I was informed of the committee change. And I, I honestly respect the senator from Ori for granting or appointing a committee. But over the weekend, I had to do a little scrambling to find out that the committee changed. And so I do appreciate a committee because at one point, I couldn't get a committee assigned to the closing the Charleston loophole bill. And that time, it was a chairman from the county of Pickens. And I was on the Senate floor and I found myself kind of saying the same words then as I'm saying now. So what we do is we rush to file a bill we rushed to file a bill that's essentially a cut and paste job at 154 with a new bill number, 640. They say, well, Kempson, that would be me. 154 can't pass. So we like the first part of your bill, but we can't support a background check change. Let me be clear. The background check period in 154 is two days, only applies to less than 10% of the people, and sunsets in two years. 
two days, sunsets, and two years, and if the committee that is formed by the first part of the bill gets up and running, it'll sunset once the committee is formed and up and running. 154 is the most narrowly tailored bill to support the will of South Carolinians. 83% of Democrats, 80% of Republicans. We are not going to pass a background check bill in the state of South Carolina unless we address background checks. We must stop pandering to the far right of any political party. The people want us to do our business. So they say, Kempson, that would be me. That you can't prove that two days is going to make any difference. Well, we, got, we can say that about any bill. We got an interlock device bill, but people are still going to drive drunk. We got a, we got a murder bill, felony, but people still going to shoot people. We can't even have a debate on the merits of a bill. Now, in fairness, the bill was not killed, 154. And there may still be an opportunity. But I'm going to be, I got another bill coming for Such five days. I got another close. bill. Close. Mr. President, uh, unanimous yeah. consent for an additional three minutes. We heard the unanimous consent request of the senator. So over the weekend, I'm going to be working with staff to draft another bill because the people of South Carolina want me to. And I'm going to be looking at every bill in this Senate floor to see what, or may, wait, what may be germane from the rest of the session if the new bill that I filed doesn't get taken up. But I'm hoping that there are some other alternatives. I think 640 is a good bill, but without the background checks. And I want the people to know that what we debated today was not 154. What we debated today was 640 minus the background check, period. And I do appreciate, again, the chairman of judiciary, and I appreciate all the senators on the committee, including the senator from Darlington, because he allowed me the privilege of addressing the committee. I was not on that committee. We're going to pass out some literature for those who've asked the questions. Will an additional two days make a difference? I cited from several studies, including the Science Magazine citing the Harvard University research. We got the New England Journal of Medicine. I got a plethora of peer-reviewed scientific literature on this issue. And so we're not going away. We'll continue to echo the cries of the 39 people who won't be able to talk about their experiences because they're dead. Senator from Greenville, Senator Corbin, for what purpose do you rise? Um, Mr. President, I know the gentleman's time is nearly up, but I wonder if you'd entertain a question. Let so me finish. The question. I will. I'll yield in Mr. a minute. Yield in a minute? The, the 39 you are only dead. only have a minute. The 39 are dead. And while I de uh, disagree with the senator from Anderson, I appreciate his passion on a subject. I appreciate his passion on the subject. And he has had an opportunity to have his de bills debated on the Senate floor. The people of South Carolina have failed to have their concerns heard when it comes to expanding background checks and closing the Charleston loophole. I yield. Thank you. Just quickly, for questions from Senator from Greenville, Senator Yields. Just real quick, the Senator, it looks like you've really done your research into this and that um, and you feel very passionate about it. 
Um, if, um, and you think this is going to be an effective thing if this bill passed? you truly think it would be effective? I do. Okay. Um, if it gives you that comfort level, if this bill you know, were to pass and get the additional background checks, would that posture you into supporting constitutional carry at that point? I, I tell you what, Senator, I think we ought to have the debate. I've never shut down the debate on constitutional carry, but let me be clear on this. If I don't have my debate, you won't get your debate. So some folks feel a reciprocity in that regard. Perhaps we could work together uh, for debate them both, debate them both, and then just let the, get a vote. Let ships fall where they may. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator from Edgefield, for what purpose do you rise? <laughs>